Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. I am sending here today to discuss I on issues that is related to an accident case involving drunk drivers causing the death of others that have been quite something of late to the ministry of reactions and urging the government to address it by taking the existing laws related to the offense. Drink driving has recently become a hot topic again in Malaysia following the spate of fatal road accidents involving drivers suspected of driving while intoxicated with alcohol. One by one, the reported cases of motorists driving under the influence of alcohol continue to spark outrage among the people who want the government to take a holistic action against reckless drivers. Understanding the sentiment of the people, Prime Minister Mary Yassin has ordered the Ministry of Transport to amend the Road Transport of Act 1997 at 333 to impose heavier penalties on individuals convicted of driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs. In 2020, the statistics shows 21 cases of drunk driving were recorded just in the first five months this year involving eight deaths. A significant increase compared to 23 cases of drunk driving accidents recorded throughout last year. And here is a quick look by Malaymail at all the facts and figures on drink driving in Malaysia based on news reports and limited data available. <laughs> Driving after consuming an alcohol is one of the biggest crimes and this action can cause harm and putting others innocent driver on the road in danger. This is because it takes a longer time to absorb the amount of alcohol that you consume into your bloodstream and the individuals who consume an alcohol amount of alcohol can cause slowing down by in breathing and delay in cognitive skills such as ability to concentrate make good judgments and quickly react to situations. For example, excessive alcohol consumption can give impact, negative impact to your vision. After being drunk, your vision will be blurry as the alcohol will slowly affect the function of eye muscle, alter the eye movement and alter the visual perception. Thus, during driving tends to sudden stopping the vehicles racing or zigzag, being careless while reversing and daydreaming or tired and uh, feel and uh, felt sleepy. Thus, motorists should not drive when under the influence of alcohol. Section 44 1 of the Road Transport at 1987, individuals who are incapable of having proper control because of intoxicating, liquor or exit prescript limits and causing injury or death will be jailed within 3 until 10 years. Individuals who are caught in exit the prescript limits will also will be fined within 10, 8,000 ringgit to 20,000 ringgit measure and their driving license will be unqualified for 5 years. Others' emotion can impact someone affected by drunk driving. God can overcome convicted drunk drivers while anger may harvest within victims or their families. There is no permanent remedy that helps feelings of loss, loss and safety. The emotional impact remains forever. Uh, hello, uh, I am Nirmal Saluraja, SB18084. Uh, I am the director for this uh, video project. So, uh, the current issue is drunken driving. And my opinion about it, this case has been increasing in Malaysia drastically over the years. So, what can I say is that we should all be careful and we, all sh we should all play our role to uh, decrease and if can not to have any more drunken driving you see uh, it's not just the driver who's involved in this it's also a second party if the driver go goes and crashes onto someone and not just that someone the victim is gonna be affected but also the family members behind the driver and also the victim so we should all play our part and try to reduce this 
and for enforcement the law should be enforced very strictly uh, towards uh, nightclubs pubs and so on so that this can be prevented thank you must punish and then uh, you must change the law saying that uh, the drunken drivers must punish uh, severely action the must take the severe action same time the victims all the must uh, have uh, new rules saying that uh, the who the eats the something like the drivers and the drunken drivers must taking care of the family something like uh, support for the funeral and then the insurance claim money wise supportive wife okay because uh, we do, wouldn't know the victim got a family or not so if he is a family members behind him who uh, who uh, what you call believe on the victims okay so the drunken drivers must support them okay must take care, take care of them okay in the first part the drunken drivers must uh, what you call uh, must must uh, what you call uh, was responsibility uh, was responsibility saying that uh, don't drink uh, don't drink while driving and then uh, if you drive if you're drunk means please don't drive okay there is a uh, cabs outside outside there we got a cabs grabs and then uh, we got a friends outside there who never drink also all right ask them to drive okay and then uh, please be safe be safe and then uh, Taking care of everybody. Okay, thank you. Advice: This drunk and drive is not advisable for all of us because once you're drunk, you are mentally not a stable person. It will give you a big impact, especially your brain will be defect, and you wouldn't know what are you doing while you're driving. So this will cause accident and especially give a lot of problems. So to be honest. If you are drunk and drunk, if you are drunk, please take a cab. We have a grab. Please take a grab and go back home safely. Please think about your family. Your family is important. Entertainment is just a part for drunk. But once you drunk and drive, you you going to destroy another person. Once you met an accident, something that give you a unexpected things. it will make you life miserable my name is kabilan i'm a medical student in jakarta i think the issue is something to be addressed severely especially in this current situation uh the availability of alcohol has become so easy that uh, teenagers nowadays Uh, whether they are above the age limit or under the age limit they can possess and they can consume alcohol and especially when they drive after consuming uh, alcohol uh, this is of course is causing a lot of uh, bad things to not only the person who drinks but also the community so i think is a it's a very very important topic that needs to be addressed now um hi good day as well i'm danish a medical student from jakarta uh well drunken drivers well this issue is relatively high for the past few months in malaysia as well well the uh, different age groups and population mostly are uh, been uh, associated with this most kids from the age group of teenagers and uh, adoptions and um, the thing i feel that maybe because of the lack of awareness among them about the issues about uh, abusing alcohol while they driving especially they should know the law and secondly they should know the level of alcohol they should be consuming if they want to be driving especially but i think from just the medical side i would say that i think from what i've read from malaysia it's 0.08 the alcohol uh, level content is so you should not drink above that maybe they can get to know how many ounces of liquor or alcohol they consume so they do, don't exceed that level so that they don't impair their level of consciousness while driving 
so they should be aware if they are drinking they might impair their consciousness which may affect not only themselves but others on the road which i feel that's a responsibility that everyone should be aware of so they should drink responsibly and uh, also consider the safety of others while they are on the road there's a few few things i'd like to discuss here the first is when you in your in our normal body the alertness of somebody is is based on a hormone in the brain called dopamine so when you increase your alcohol consumption your dopamine level will also shoot up so it's it's not in the stable range it it, it has uh, it has went up so basically when you are driving you are under the conscious influence of decision making but with alcohol in your system your conscious decision making goes down and your unconscious decision making comes down so when i say unconsciously what you do for example uh, i know all of us we wake up we brush our teeth that's always our preferred hand when you are brushing our teeth it could be left for somebody it could be right for somebody we don't think about it but we ju- we just do we we brush our teeth we pick up the brush uh, on on one particular hand so when driving which is involving uh, not just us but other people also goes into the subconscious uh, activity then it's dangerous because that means you will be driving from the bistro or the cafe back to your home using your subconscious memory because you have you have uh, so many times passed the same road so so you will not be alert to what's happening and furthermore when that dopamine level which is hiked up because of alcohol when the alcohol suddenly disappears from your system your dopamine level doesn't go down naturally it suddenly plunges down uh, this will cause the drinker to be uh, to be wanting more so basically this is what they we call addiction because it suddenly goes down that that good feeling you felt suddenly disappears so you drink again you you want to do it again so this will lead to uh, addiction uh, furthermore when in medical term when we talk about damage uh, alcohol uh one of the main organs that alcohol can damage is our liver so the liver can be inflamed it can become very big in medical term we call it uh, hepatomegaly uh when hepatomegaly is not treated and the person is still drinking a lot uh, this will lead to the liver cirrhosis or also known as uh, another part it it can become into hepatoma which is uh, basically Uh, liver cancer that's also already cancer cell in the liver and then from liver we move a bit down there's our stomach our intestine so our intestine lining has natural uh, bacteria good bacteria what we call as vitagen you know the probiotics the prebiotics they are there to support our system but with Uh, alcohol com- consumption uh, uncontrolled alcohol consumption the lining of the the stomach will disintegrate and so does the good bacteria that is supposed to help our digestive system also get damaged they might be killed so goes our liver goes uh, our stomach goes to the same story it's not good and one more very important thing that maybe many many people don't understand is consumption of over alcohol doesn't just result in disease of this generation but it can be brought to the next generation for example there is a syndrome called uh, fetal alcoholic syndrome or known as fas what happens is if the mother who is carrying the baby uh, in basically the first tri semester the second tri semester uh, if she were to consume a lot of alcohol this will affect the baby's growth the baby will uh, in the womb itself it will have some retardations in growth and when the baby is born it may have one or more extremity normally which is not normally formed maybe one hand is shorter or the both legs are shorter or there's no one hand all this can be found in this fetal alcoholic sy- syndrome uh, which is also due to overconsumption of alcohol so what i'm trying to say is alcohol doesn't just affect you 
but it also affects the next future generation of your family and your loved ones medical injury happen in you is like maybe you have broken leg you need to be operate this is the hard part bro because if you going to operate something if the people is like if the person is like drink a lot of alcohols the the doses they give to you for anesthesia is different also it's not like normal human if you are ready like quite a lot of drink alcohol daily so it's like different also and then sometimes also so they must like uh, make a double dosis for your anesthesia this is the sad part also if you like having so much alcohol your body become like uh hard. i mean uh, i mean uh, i agree to both of them what they said like, i mean they have spoken quite a lot about the matter but i'll just add few things like just certain things maybe like a normal common people who dr- drinks or maybe goes to occasion of party just an advice maybe since if you are attending or maybe you're a social person who socializes and maybe have a drinks at party usually i would like to suggest you go to certain websites trusted website and just learn about the alcohol that you're consuming it could be a beer it could be a wine it could be liquor whiskey what it could be anything at all but you should know that particular liquor how many percentage does that contain so that when you can estimate how much you be drinking on daily basis or on that particular party or an event so when you know how many percentage i would not say you like literally take out a calculator but you can estimate let's just say i have a can of beer i know how many person i'm consuming so if you know how many person you're consuming so you will be aware by yourself knowing that i should not exceed this certain level like i said 0.08 bac level which is already been uh, stated by the law you should not exceed that so you should be aware if you are drinking above that i would suggest you should not drive you can have a friend that is not drinking on that particular day to help you assist while you driving so that you know you don't danger yourself you don't endanger your family or the people on the road as well so maybe that's just i would like to add to this one <laughs> we are not saying that everyone has to consume alcohol but we know that a certain group of people they consume alcohol so be a smart consumer if you are consuming alcohol always uh, have approximation of how much you are drinking don't just blindly it's not orange juice just because because it's in orange color you cannot all drink it up at one shot you know so always calculate always plan if you are to drink and most importantly especially with today's uh, e hailing apps uh, technology like uh, grab and uber so i think this this kind of services is really important and it it is helping many people especially in this case of uh, drunken driving if you know you are drunk don't don't you know don't be uh, over confident just grab a ride back home so it's safe and probably it won't even cost that much if you get into an accident the whole hassle is so much even worse uh, so use e hailing ha- apps that's very important and another thing uh, as far as what i say plan not only in just the concentration plan with whom you if you want to you know you're going out for a drink or something uh, people who can trust you can trust so all these things are important uh that's i think that that's about from me plan and be a smart consumer if you are consuming if you are not then then it's very good yeah thank you the effect of drunk driving cars and ripple in so many lives take steps to prevent long term impacts in anyone's life how to prevent in my opinion designing a driver or every individual must have taxi numbers and trusted friends number on hand and most importantly everybody that serve alcohol drink need to ensure every driver that came must hand over their car keys besides the government need to take an action to the drug driving that cause death to other victims on the road by ban their driving license forever these individuals who cause death are not allowed to drive on the road after causing the death to someone like finally let me assert one more time that a person who are incapable of having proper control because of intoxicating 
require or exceed prescribed limits, should not drive on the road. Always remember to drink responsibly and stay sober. Do not drink and drive. It is not just your life that will be affected. Always remember to protect yourself and the life of our others while on the road and not to add to the rising number numbers of vehicular fatality just because you cannot stop being selfish by drink while driving. So to my viewers, start now. Do not drink and drive. Always remind ourselves and our loved one to never drink and drive. In.